Yeah, I can talk. What is this? Those are the reports that you asked for. It highlights Those everything that you... Those reports don't have the budgets included. Oh, yeah, you told me last week that you didn't want... How am I supposed to know if we're losing money without the budgets? Jesus Christ, Jackson, can you do anything right? I just did what you asked me to do. I... First, you drop off mail at the wrong department. Then you schedule a meeting with Patrick, and you know how much I hate Patrick. And now these reports are fucked! I just did what I can't babysit you. I, I can't deal with this right now. Just go home. But I just... Leave! Now! Hey Jake, it's me. <sighs> Call me back, please, it's important. March 31st, so I got fired today. I was so angry I couldn't stop cursing. Charlotte said I should start writing to get all that colorful language out. So I did. I wrote a poem. I think it's stupid, but it made her laugh. Maybe I'll send this into the Sunday papers. The fat cat sat behind the desk, big, ugly, and grotesque. He told me to pack up my things and leave, so I said something even I couldn't believe. At the top of my lungs, I began to shout, kiss my ass, Mark, and walk the fuck out. Sorry, uh, I was a little bit busy. What's up? I got fired today. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? Or? No. I'm kind of tired. I think I'm going to go take a nap. Wake me up for dinner. Yeah. Note to self, buy eggs. April 7th, Charlotte tells me that the longer I stay out here, the easier a profound thought will come to me. To be honest, all I'm doing is staring at a tree. Actually, I've always been jealous of trees, 
of how strong they are. They get battered by the wind and rain day after day and they just bend and sway. They let the earth throw its punches and just spring right back up. I wish I were more like a tree. Hey, it seems you found my notebook. Hi, yes, um, you left it here before I could give it back to you and I didn't want to just leave it here, so I took it home with me. I read through it, you're really funny. Oh, you read through it? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. I just, I didn't know what to do with it and I just, I didn't read all of it, I just sort of flipped through it. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm Cleo, by the way. Hi Cleo, I'm Gary. No, keep it. I don't really need it anymore. I feel like you could use it. Thanks. Yeah, that first poem about the cat actually really helped me. I got fired yesterday. Uh, what happened? My boss was just horrible. He only ever called me by my last name and everything. He was always cranky and angry about all the smallest things. Nothing I ever did was good enough for him. Yeah, that kind of sounds like my old boss. Did you tell him to kiss your ass? No. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to. Damn, that's a shame. You should have. It's fun. Yeah, I bet. It's clearly obvious you weren't happy there. Why didn't you leave on your own? I don't know. I needed the money. Just because you need money doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your happiness. What would you have wanted to do instead? Photography. But I haven't done it in a while, and... I'm not that good at it. But there is work out there for that. And being good at something is only a matter of time and effort. Yeah, but I guess I haven't really had the time. Well, now you do. You just got fired. Huh. I guess you're right. You know, life's too short to waste time doing things that don't truly make you happy. Do what you love. Don't take shit from shitty people. Excuse me. Hello? Jackson, hey, sorry about yesterday. You know how it is in the office sometimes. Stress gets to me, you know? <laughs> but uh, no hard feelings, yeah? Anyway, I have some files that need looking over, and once you get that done, I'll need you to take my car to the car wash, and once you come back, I need you to talk to Barbara, and you know how Barbara is. She can't do anything, right? So you come in today, yeah? You know what? No. I'm on to better things, and my name is Cleo. May 29th, made two dining chairs and a coffee table and even a rocking chair for Mrs. Winfield next door. Charlotte's helping me set up shop next week in town. I probably should have done this sooner. Looks like I found my calling. Maybe I'll even write my own guidebook to success. Step one, get wood. Step two, get tools. Step three, practice the hell out of your art because you love it and screw what anyone else says. February 14th, Valentine's Day. You know, no one ever teaches you how to fall in love. There are thousands of books, movies, poems about love. And even if you watch them or read them hundreds of times, you never quite get it. But I think I understood it when I saw her in her wedding dress. God, we were just kids when we got married. We were barely old enough to drink. Her hair, her everything was perfect. That dress hugged her curves in just the perfect way. And oh God, her smile could have been a lighthouse with how bright it was. Her smile just reminds me of how hard she's fighting and how much she doesn't deserve this. I love her so much, but all the love in the world can't cure her. She's gotten so frail. She's like an empty vessel of who she once was. Hey, babe. Hey. How's your day? It was all right. So, you know that photo shoot I did with Leanne and Hector? 
It was awesome. I think they really enjoyed it. They asked me Honey, if I could... I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I had a really long day at work, and we lost a few clients. I, I'm just kind of tired. August 15th, cancer came and with its claws snapped the narrow thread that connected my wife to this world. I miss her. We were married 35 years and it still seems I've left so many things unsaid and so many things I wish I could take back. October 24th, I don't feel like going on anymore. I called Liam today to wish him a happy birthday. He didn't answer the phone. I haven't spoken to him since Charlotte died. I remember we used to fight until we were both black and blue. But now there's just nothing. I wasn't there for him and now I've lost my son too. I see all these new families around me and it, it hurts. There's so much love in this world, but mine is in the next. Hello there, Cleo. You're actually here. Yes, yes I am. Please, don't do it. I, I just finished your notebook. Don't, don't do what? Kill yourself. Please, you have to talk to Liam. I it, know it's, it's been okay, hard. It's okay, Cleo, I'm fine. Call him. Call Liam and tell him that you love him and that you're sorry that you weren't around. If you love someone, you have to communicate with them. You can't wait around for things to get better. Are you talking about me or you? You. Me. Both of us, I guess. You shouldn't be saying this to me. There's probably someone else you should be talking to instead of me right now. Go. Talk to him. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Go. Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? I want to talk about us. Okay. What happened to us? What do you mean? We barely talk anymore. Well, maybe we're just too busy. But you barely said anything when I told you I got fired. How can I talk to you when you don't even pay attention when I do? Look, I, I tried to help. I did, I tried, but you, you shut me out. You barely tried. Well, it's because you always come home stressed. And then you just, you just complain, and then you eat, and then you go to sleep. It's not even a conversation. I can't help it if my boss mistreats me. I've been telling you to quit for months. That's all you say. Telling me to leave a paying job isn't enough. So what am I supposed to do? Write up a resume for you? Apply for you? My god, you are too afraid to do what you need to do! How about giving me some advice? Or encouragement? Don't you want me to be successful? We're engaged. We should be working towards our future together, but you're too busy burying yourself in your work. Oh. I'm sorry I actually enjoy my job. 
What is that, a fucking crime? I don't want to do this anymore. If you're gonna be like that, I don't want to do this. I'm not happy. How is it that I've gotten more from this notebook than I've gotten from you in months? I promise to do less of my work at home. Promise? Promise. As long as you let me help you with your uh, photography career. Yeah. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird though. I kind of find this, this guy, I mean his journal has it's been your guide for like the past few days. I know. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. children. 